while some voters within the city of Columbia would, held, would head rather to the polls within the next 30 minutes or so to vote for a mayor. Mayor Steve Benjamin was elected back in July of 2010, and he's hoping to have another term. Joining us now, Mayor Steve Benjamin. Good morning, mayor, Wendy. Thank you for being here. We know you're busy. We know you have a whole slate of places to be right now, but we appreciate you stopping by and talking to us here on Good Day Columbia. Mayor, we're going to get straight to it. You've been in the office for a number of years now. Why should voters reelect you? Sure. Well, the last three and a half years, I believe, have been uh, marked by us believing that Columbia has great potential. And we've been working to meet that potential. Uh, we've um, finished four years in a row uh, in the black. Uh, uh, this year, our budget surplus is $8 million, the largest in, in recent history. We reduced the size of our government, uh, saved $4.5 million in payroll, and put all that money back into the police department. Got the police department fully funded for the first time in 15 years. More boots on the ground means that we have more officers out uh, fighting crime. Uh, we've watched our violent crime rate drop by 30%. While well, we've had a, a recent spate of issues in Five Points and other places, our officers are out there, boots on the ground, working their tails off to keep our, our streets uh, safe. Uh, so we focused on, on job creation. Um, right now, downtown, $100 million in construction going on Main Street, uh, $300 million invested over the last uh, few years. A revolutionary Bull Street project uh, that promises $1.2 billion in economic impact, 11,000 jobs for the people of Columbia. Um, a, a revitalized uh, 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 economic infrastructure that focuses on arts and culture. And Columbia's alive right now, and it's because uh, we've unleashed the, the creative powers of the people of Columbia. And I'm, I'm encouraged by the work that we've been able to do together. I mean, we ran last year, uh, four years ago, on the theme of One Columbia, of each and every one of us uh, doing something to make this city better. And as a result of it, uh, I believe we're moving forward aggressively. Speaking about uh, crime, talking mm -hmm. about the crime you're going down, but of course the prevailing issue seems to be Five Points Mayor. Mm -hmm where you've had an issue with Carter Strange a few years ago. Mm -hmm. You have other, other issues with other folks who was attacked, it was captured on phone, posted on YouTube, and then just recently with the USC student who's now sure. paralyzed because of that. You um, put in an option to talk about gang injunctions. What is that? And also, what are some other things that the voters need to know that you're doing to help um, the issue at Five Points? Sure, absolutely. Well, um, uh, the interesting thing about Five Points is that Five Points is a, is a, is a, is a different place. I mean, we, we watch crime go down in every section of the city, and because we've, okay. of course, deployed those resources mm -hmm. uh, all across the city, all four districts. Uh, but Five Points is a place where young people who are doing great things in their lives, kids who, who attend school at Benedict and USC and, and, and Allen University, um, are at 1 o'clock in the morning, and they meet some kids who, who are doing some very bad things in their lives. At 1 o'clock in the morning, there's alcohol involved, and bad things happen. Um, but it's important to note that the issues that Five Points are facing are not just Five Points issues. Uh, there are people who, who are coming in from as far away as Swansea or Florence or Orangeburg coming to cause problems. So we have to make sure that we have a strong police presence down there. And I'm glad that the Columbia Police Department is working closely with the Richmond County Sheriff's Department, working closely with the uh, with USC and, uh, and, the, and the Merchants Association. I was down there this weekend myself Great. to make sure everyone was working together to make sure we create a safe environment sure. down there. Um, but, but we have to realize that the challenges that Five Points faces are the, with, with uh, uh, violent offenders or, or, or gangs are not five points issues. We have to go back into the communities and, 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 and fight these challenges. The, the idea that we propose are gang injunctions. Uh, gang injunctions basically serve as almost as a restraining order. Uh, if you're an identified member of, of, of a gang uh, with a criminal history and you're known to frequent some areas and cause problems, uh, we, we go before a judge, and, and, we, and it's, a, it's a, a, um, a process that, that you bring a lawyer, go before a judge. Our officers have, have put together a pretty strong case saying that this person has been terrorized in this community. It's not just five points. We're going to look at four or five other communities around the city because we've realized that some of our repeat violent offenders where they're causing most of their problems are not the places they live. People say it's a, this, this community or that community is a bad neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Usually the people who are victimizing folks gotcha. don't live in those neighborhoods, and I think it's a shame when someone has worked uh, for 30 years of their lives or 40 years of their lives to pay for the home they mm -hmm. paid for, and they can't sit on their front porch gotcha. because some knucklehead wants to shoot up a neighborhood. So we've been unapologetic uh, about, about, um, uh, about uh, gotcha. cracking down on violent and repeat offenders and trying to get them off the street. At the very same time, uh, we're working to invest in our young people and give them the opportunity uh, to live up to their God-given potential, recognizing that my daughters and young Hadassah, we want mm -hmm. them to grow up in a great city gotcha. uh, where they can do the great things that God has in store for them. And really quick, Mayor, we know we have to leave, we have no time, but quickly, 
Well, where are we with the chief of police? What if you're reelected? What is your plan for sure. that? We know well, we're short on time. Really well, quick. Well, well, sure. Well, the um, uh, police department's on investigation, uh, mm -hmm. a, a investigation that I requested, that Mr. Bedour and others uh, um, um, requested. Mm -hmm. As soon as that investigation is over, I believe we should start the search for a new police chief. Mr. Bedour has talked about that nonstop. The reality is that the only person who can hire a police chief right now is the city manager. I believe that should change under a new form of government, a strong mayor form of government with a, with a strong mayor has the responsibility mm -hmm. uh, for hiring a chief and, and has um, uh, will be held accountable if, in mm -hmm. fact, the police department doesn't do its job. Mayor Steve Benjamin, thank you so much for that. Thank you for being here All this right. morning, folks. Polls open in about 30 minutes, 7 o'clock to 7 p.m. And stay with Watch Fox and Watch.com for all your updates on the mayoral race today. We're back after this.